Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and today I'm going to give you a daily recap for Bold and Beautiful for Wednesday, November the 11th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Please hit that like button because every time you hit that like button, lets you two know it's a good video for soap fans so they can be part of our soap fam. We also have a membership where you get early access to videos, exclusive videos and more. So go on ahead and check out that membership by hitting the join button. It doesn't mean you automatically join. It just tells you, shows you a video that lets you know all the perks of being a member. Then you can decide if you want to join. So we're going to get right into this bow and the beautiful for Wednesday, November the 11th. Liam and Finn are still talking about Thomas when Steffi arrives. Steffi um, is disappointed that they're still talking about Thomas. Uh, we know that in real life, Jacqueline, who plays Steffi, is pregnant. So I'm, I'm starting to notice that they don't, they got her in baggier clothes and they don't film her stomach. They sort of film from like the bottom of the stomach up. So she must be showing. Uh, so, you know, they both try to convince Liam that he's going too far, that they should, that he should give t uh, Thomas a chance. And Steffi and Finn both let Liam know that Hope feels that she's being neglected. And that he should be spending more time with her. So he goes to uh, Force of Creations where Hope is there. And pretty much, you know, just tells her that, you know, Thomas is evil. And he's just looking out for her. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have uh, Zenday and Hope early in the episode. Where Zenday just notices that Thomas, you know, designs. He's like, oh, another Thomas design. And she's like, yeah, you know, it's great, isn't it? And um, she also manages to tell Charlie that Thomas had the mannequin. And Charlie's like, wasn't he standing here when I was asking about it? And he said he didn't know anything about it. She's like, yeah. Um, we also had Carter. He's something that he has a secret. That he wants to share it at this big dinner that he's trying to have with Zenday, Zoe, and Paris. I'm really hoping it's not what I think it is. Tomorrow, there's somebody supposed to propose on Bold and Beautiful. And I'm like, they've only even done it one time. Okay, okay, twice. Once in the evening, once in the morning. And they barely know each other. I really hope that Carter isn't going to do something stupid like propose marriage to Zoe. And they're still just getting to know each other. And clearly Zoe says she didn't want to move in. She's kind of pumping the brakes a little bit. So if Carter is that thirsty to pro propose marriage tomorrow, I don't know what they're thinking. Then we had Zendaya arrive with flowers for Paris, making Zoe look very uncomfortable. And it ends with Thomas having dinner with the mannequin. No, the mannequin doesn't have any food. But as he's sitting at the table, the mannequin's saying, Get rid of Liam. Get rid of Liam. Hope wants you. Put your family back together with uh, uh, Hope and Douglas. So the mannequin, eyes turn red again as she's telling him, Get rid of Liam. And that was the episode. You know I really want this mannequin story to end. So... I'm tired of it. I really need them to move to the next plot point in the story. Because he's still holding his head. And we know that means there's going to be something wrong that's causing him to act the way he's acting. So thank you for watching. I'm Phoenix Tremaine. And I will catch you in the next video.